everyone, this is Alexton96 or Taylor Denno, whatever you know me by. But this is part two of looking through my um, just really, really old drawings from like elementary school days. And, you know, I actually did this right after uh, doing the first one because, you know, it's just so fun. It's just so fun to do. And so we're going to go ahead and take a look at another story today. Let's see. Let's just open this up. All about these guys. And so, let's see. These are, um, when I used to live in Arizona, I was, like, obsessed with stickers for some reason. And, like, these are, let me zoom in a little bit. These are, like, little weather stickers. And I would just put them on the paper for some reason. C complete waste of stickers. But, um, I just love stickers. So I just put them on. And then this is actually, um, let's see, Junie B. Jones stickers. And I really liked them. And I just put them all in one place. So that actually, uh, that comes from this book right here. And, oh, I, I should probably do this one too someday. But <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a, it's a good book. It's just like a little journal thing. So I'm going to put that back. But yeah, I used to really like those books. Oh boy. Ouch. The copyright is real. This is Spirit, Stalin of the Cimarron. And this is Spirit the, from the movie. And then there's the eagle. And then like the part where she bites his hair for some reason. And then this is, this is the boy. This is... That's the little Indian guy that he that he sees by Taylor D illustrated by Taylor D. I was really I was really um focused on like getting this getting this stuff down, you know, this is by me, illustrated by me, even though this is totally copyright copyrighted. So, once in the old west. Yes, that is my mother and yes, she is pregnant and I am in her I'm just getting right down to the point. So you can see, like, this is the opening scene of the movie where she's, like, given birth. And then, this is me in the corner, right there. My mom loves to put her neck on a rock. I guess I was trying to draw her and it looked kind of awkward for her to be sitting up, so I just drew a rock under her. My father died before I came out. He died by fighting a, a lion. Lion. <clears throat> But yeah, you never see Spirit's dad in the movie, so I was just, I was thinking about what could work. And you know what? That could work. Because he does fight a light lion, but... <clears throat> I am a kid now, and met this buffalo here, and I thought it was my father. <laughs> I guess I misunderstood what happened in the movie, um, where he like meets that little buffalo, looks like a rhino or something. And he, like, gets freaked out. And then there's the mom in the corner and the sun in the sky. I'm grown up now, and I'm racing with the eagle up here. I love soaring like the wind flying. There were times where I believe, believe I could. Oh, the cringe is real. I, I took way too much for the movie. <laughs> You see the mother in the corner for some reason again. You get a nice view of that, yeah. Okay. So, racing eagle. Then this is me fighting this jaguar. I won this war. See for your, yourself. And so this is like the, the time where he fights the cougar. And they're like fighting and duking it out. There's a little pony that he saves. Uh, prepare yourself for the next one. Oh, <laughs> I told you I was obsessed with death for some reason. Sometimes I take a rest after all the wars I did a long time ago. And I love sunbathing while I'm sleeping. So this is the cougar who now looks like a fox. And you can see all the guts coming out and the blood everywhere and like... All Spirit has is like a black eye, he, but he's okay. He's okay with that. He's sunbailing. 
right next to the dead body. <laughs> I saw a lit a litty litty light in a forest, and it was fifty miles away. That's a lot. <laughs> so this is like the nighttime scene where spirit sees a the um fire, the campfire a distance away, and he and he leaves the the pack or like the herd behind with his mom. So she's she's sad and then he's running off. <clears throat> when I came, there I saw a few horses. There's a little snake for some reason. I tried to make them talk. Try to make them talk. So this is like the part where he sees the horses. They're all tied up to the tree stump. And they're all sleeping except for that one. Oh boy. Some so some guys woke up and they were chasing me seriously. Seriously. I was faster than all of their horses that I was trying to make them talk. Some of the guys whacked the horses with their thing that makes them hurt or fast. <laughs> So if you if you need a synonym for a um like a little little whip right there a little horse whip, just call it um the thi their thing that makes them hurt or fast. Mm -hmm. When I was all the way all the way oh I thought when I was younger I thought all the way was like one word because you say it so fast. So all the way back to my herd, my mother and my best. Friend Eagle came to me as fast as possible. So, like, this is them. They're chasing. They're whipping the horses to make them go faster. But Spirit is over here on this giant hill. And then he meets his family back there. And they're like, yay, you're back. <clears throat> One of the guys caught me. And I tried to get him. But all the other guys caught me. I was scared. So this is like the part where they got the ropes all over and like uh, the mother's up there. <laughs> Fun fact, I love this movie so much that my brother and I would reenact it and I would always be spirit and he'd be like, oh, I want to be spirit. And I'd say, no, next time you can be the mom and all the other horses, but I'm spirit. And we would like jump all over our bunk bed and like nay and run around it was it was fun i love that movie i still do <clears throat> it was a long journey to where i was going when i saw a huge thing i was scared then when i was inside and the door had closed i was out of control i killed one guy <laughs> part where they like go inside the giant fort little structure thing and like I don't know I guess I misinterpreted it. oh no it's on the next page never mind um but he like he just killed someone up and killed someone I don't know what that guy has up there like a Molotov or something <laughs> I saw a pack of horses walking perfectly I tried to make them talk too I broke this boss's stick, and I broke someone's head. <laughs> so this is like a part where he's like tied up, and they're getting him ready, um, like I don't know, shaving him, putting on the little horseshoe, and like him kicking the guy. This is, a, this is supposed to be like a flower pot with that little white flower on top. I don't know what that is, but that's what people do when they die. When they die, the little flower pot. And the guy is all sad or worried, just like, oh no, you okay? I don't know why the people look so weird in this, but... And then that's supposed to be, like, the little cattle prod or something. And there's the guys on top of it, <laughs> like a little sunbathing up there. And then that's the boss where I got his stick broken, a little stick thing. <clears throat> Some guys forced me to go in. So, like, um, this is the part where he's, like, kicking off all the people. He's like, boss. Oh, no, that's, it's showing that he's the boss. <laughs> so he's got, like, both the whip and the, um, 
little cigar, like a party, little party thing. He's kicking him off. And that's where I, like, stopped, I stopped writing and just drew. And so this is the part at night where he looks up at the sky and he's all sad, remembering his home. All these little horses right here, they're bored and sad, just like, mmm. <laughs> So he looks up at the sky, and then the mom looks up at the sky too, because she remembers her little boy. I think that's the same star. Yeah, it's the one star up there. The one star through them all. And then there's the little horses down there, just running around. I got lazy drawing them. And then this is supposed to be the part with the text. And so you'll, I do, I still do this now, where I either draw or I write. I don't do both usually <clears throat> so like this is supposed to be text area and this is a part where he sees like the indian boy he brings who gets brought in and like the boss is really mad at him the guy and <laughs> i love his expression <laughs> and like uh spirit is looking very confused so confused that he lost his neck um and yeah there's always there's always someone up top of the the wall. So this is the part where the boss is like uh, really uh, hurting, hurting um, spirits. He's like whipping him and stuff. Still got the cigar somehow and everybody's watching. And then um, Stallion like, or sorry, blah, spirit like breaks the fence and throws the boss off. And then the boy Get back up. Okay. And the boy is just sitting there like... <laughs> and then the boy starts to ride spirits away. And then the boss is like whipping his whip. Just like, ah, stop, come back here. But as you know, um, they break, they break free. And all the horses, all the weird misshapen horses get to escape. We... <laughs> and that's the part where like the guy holds the door and he's like oh no you're not getting out and the boy's like really mad spirit's like weird and and then um he dies again somehow he's got two flowers in his little flower pot and <laughs> for some reason his his pants ripped or something i don't know i don't know what but, like, they break free from the fort. This is the door. All the horses are coming out. And they're like, yay! I'm home! Freedom, freedom! And then there's the boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is falling apart. Oh. I'm glad I'm recording this now before this all falls away. And so, this is the part where, like, um, uh, Spirit meets Rain. A little horse that belongs to the boy. I'm very sure he has a name. I just don't know what it is because it's never it's never told in the movie. But he like jumps off his spirit and jumps onto Rain, and then um, Rain and then the other Indian boy um, capture Spirit again, and Spirit is like, who is she? <laughs> So this is the part where he falls asleep, the boy's in the tents, and then the uh, rain is on the grass. For some reason, there's a snake, and I guess this was supposed to separate the text from the image, but for some reason, there is a dangerous snake just going around, just chilling. And then Spirit wakes up, he's not jumping, he's, he's laying down, and... It <laughs> I even wrote it down right here! He's not running, clearly he is not running but he wakes up and he sees the apples right there and then his son then the boy the tiny boy and rain just like yeah we gave you those but he's not running make it clear not running <laughs> and then that was spirit when he sees rain again she's like he's like oh she's so pretty and then she's eating this really really weird grass and then the boy far away and then 
they start fighting. Spirit eats like one of the apples and then they start fighting because Spirit was mean to the boy. And then this is the part where they're like are they like, tied together and Rain has to like kind of tame the Spirit. And you can see like her smug expression like so evil and stuff and <laughs> Spirit who's now looking like a dog is like not having any of this. And so he, but he has an idea. He knows what to do to, to make it better. And so they go swimming. And this is so fun. Splash. And, think, and then he's like, I think I'm getting used to this girl. <laughs> There's a little fish down there too. And then they're like running around and stuff. They're really, really happy. Starting to fall in love. And then, oh, oh no. And then this is the part where Spirit um, sees the eagle and he misses home. I honestly didn't get this as a child, but uh, grown up, or now that I am grown, it's it's okay. It's It makes sense now. I mean, but the girl is confused. just like, what is the deal with this eagle? And the bird's flying away and he's sad too. And then over here is like... Um, boy, almost far away. <laughs> he's almost far away. Don't don't get mixed up right there. He's like waiting on rain, and she's just like, oh, I I want to stay, but I want to go with you and stuff. And yeah, that's all I had. Um, I think that's all I had so far. But like on the back, on the very end, it's like uh, Spirit gets to see like this little Indian girl that scene, and then I don't know what happened here. But Rain is like, yum, black grass. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. I think I tried to scribble something out. And as an excuse, Rain is like eating black grass. So it's probably delicious, I'm sure. Oh boy. It's falling apart though. That's so sad. It's like barely keeping together. Oh, okay. But then, oh yeah. In elementary school, we would get, like, these little Scholastic News. If you guys remember this, this was so awesome! I'll just flip through, and flip through for a little bit, but they would have, like, um, information. They would have, it was like a magazine actually for kids. We would have little puzzles right here and stuff. I think I kept this one because in the very back... You are allowed to, um, like, send in a picture, and, oh my goodness, um, I actually sent a picture in, and they, and they took it! <laughs> it's supposed to be a political cartoon, and, oh boy, let me try to get this in a better light. So this is, like, um, animal abusion. <laughs> Give us a bit more respect, humans. You'll pay, poachers. <laughs> There's always people to eat. Um, don't use our hides for money, greedy people. And yeah, this is supposed to be like really angry and stuff. Just like, Ugh! I was, I was an animal lover back then. But, um, I think, yeah. Yeah, wait, hang on. Huh. It says, it says, um, I think it's probably for this cartoon that it was made by Abby, but it doesn't have my name on here for some reason. But yeah, I was crazy. Oh. Alright. And then this next story. Oh my goodness. This was actually inspired by Star Wars. Um... It was called Harmania. So, let's get some text reading here. Uh, probably a few billion years ago, some creatures have roamed around a planet that is now destroyed. But these creatures, unlike any other creature, looks far beyond imagination. That planet was called Harmania. It was very peaceful for a while. You see, evil was always found at Gorhak. 
Gorhak was a hit was a hideous, terrible, awful place, and there lived the evil king Shaxar. He always tries to rule all of Harmania, but good always stops him. Ugh. Shaxar was an enemy of Savithar, the wise master of good. <laughs> um, Mikariah, Sevilla, and Mathura were a rare family tree of Shakarayas. Mathura never had a name, had, had a same parent that looks just like her. She stood out from her parents. Other Harmanians teased Mathura because of how different she looked and acted. Ugh. The only friend Mathura ever had was Savithar. His stories and history astonishes Mathura. So this is supposed to be a story about this um, this little creature, this little purple creature. I'll, I can show you um, some drawings later about what the characters look like. But um, it's just about a character who basically goes through the story of Star Wars, except there's no force, there's no, um, there's no, like, oh, it's kind of like Star Wars. The setting is Star Wars, but this is just about a little creature trying to defeat the evil king Shaxar. And, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was when I was very, very young. I think around eight. No, maybe not eight. Maybe I didn't know how to write. Oh, this was more recently. Oh. Oh, so this was um, based on... Just get some backstory. So this was based on the Alice in Wonderland um, DS game that came out right after the Alice in Wonderland movie that Tim Burton had remade. And um, I really, 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 really like the Hatter. And... Um, I really like the, um, I don't know, just the idea that he and Alice really like each other. And so, um, I do have a comic that's really, really dumb, but it's like, um, the Hatter finds out that Alice is engaged, and, yeah, he's really upset about that. But Alice is like, uh, I can't believe I'm engaged! And he's like, that's great. And then she's like, oh, um, uh, Hamish and I are going to have the greatest time together. I think, I think that was the, um, the, her, uh, fiance or something. We'll be traveling, we'll be traveling all over the place just seeing the sights. What about Underland? Huh? So, and she gets caught up in, like, real world stuff, and the Hatter's just like, you know, hey, well, what about, what about your old adventures? And then, yeah, that's supposed to be Alice and stuff. I really like the style of the game. It's pretty cool. I'd never beat it, though, because it was tough. It was a tough game. Oh, uh, this is really, really light. But it was, like, um, a girl in high school. I saw her draw this super good comic of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I really wanted to copy, or not copy her style, but, like, try to... Um, really try to make an anime. So this is like a little grass scene. You have these two trees on the side, a little meadow. And you see someone walking out on the meadow. It's just really slow and stuff. And then this is like trying to do that thing, but I do it twice. Not a very good effect, but so I really like slower transitions, you know? And so I was just exploring how it would go. But this is supposed to be uh, Amy the Hedgehog, I think. Like the pink one. And yeah. Oh, and oh, I love this book. It's called The Big Book of Search and Find. It was about, I don't, I don't think I have it still, but it was about like this thick. And it was just full of these uh, little random little random things and you would have to try to find like okay find a cactus okay you found a cactus good and oh my goodness I loved this book I loved it so much it was given to me by my grandparents when I was really young and I really hope I still have it I should I really should but highly recommend this book it is so fun oh we've got a whole nother book and it's almost time um we'll save this one for later but one of the 
earliest uh, drawings that I have, um, I know this is when I was around age eight. But this is like uh, Star Wars, um, uh, Star Wars inspired. So you've got all these different animals. This is actually supposed to be the evil Lord Shaxar. And um, let's see, down here, that was Mathura. That was the um, protagonist. This was uh, Savithur, the wise, the, <laughs> the wise um, master of good. And then this is another one of my original characters named Akbar. Um, this one is Estimor. Oh, I miss these guys. Gotta bring them back. There's a there's another Mithra. No, that's um, someone else. And then on the back was like an underwater version of everything. Um, <clears throat> I normally don't like doing pretty things, but I was doing this one. I was like, oh, wow, she's so pretty. That's actually pretty good. I really like how this one turned out because it's the most, well, I don't know. It was the best one out of the lot. It's just eating the little thing. They're all swimming around and um, they're all eating and stuff. But I was just like exploring different animal designs. And I still kind of do that now, just not, not creature based i mostly do like people based but yeah so there's that um this is from a lot more recently this is supposed to be uh, um it's just two different characters i forgot what story that they're for it's probably oh no i know i know i know okay so it was supposed to be about this um little pumpkin guy named Argar, and he's like the king of the pumpkins, and this is inspired by, um, oh, what was it? The Nightmare Before Christmas and the, um, the jack-o'-lantern guy on The Good Adventures of Billy and Mandy, but it was just about him, uh, falling in love with this girl, this little Charlotte, and, yeah, there's this little dude over here. This is a lot more recently, and this is like a character description down here. Um, yeah, this is just, oh, this is from, uh, March 2012. Cool. Let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, these were designs were from a friend, for a friend when I was in high school. Um, just, like, different characters, and he wanted them to, um, he just wanted to have a story about this little gothic kid, and then I just kind of grew from, it just kind of grew from there. It was cool. I like these guys. I like this style. Oh yeah! And then this is like an OC for, um... Uh... uh it's called Fanboy and Chum Chum. Um, I thought this show was so annoying at first, but... I learned to like it! Some of the shows are hilarious! But this is supposed to be Nick. He's supposed to be just a quiet character. Kind of dark and gothic, but... Um, he's very suave and just a very good dancer. He's got a saxophone and stuff. But yeah, he's supposed, he's not supposed to be like a main character per se or a big person. He's just a person that comes up in the background and just kind of, he's just there to add to the story a little bit. Oh, so many stories. Nowhere to, oh, several minus. I missed that story. Okay. Well, we got into a little bit more recent stuff. I didn't realize that um, this was a lot less organized than I thought. But, um, but yeah, this, I love sharing my memories and just going, going through memory lane and just sharing this stuff with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you, I hope you really like it. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more. There's a lot more to go. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye!